be trying to capture video clip from a webinar presentation, you'll need to take screenshots. And if you've got Windows, you already have the right tool. I'll cover how to use it and explore all the screenshot upgrades coming to Windows 11. How to take a screenshot. Whenever you have to take a screenshot, there's a free tool you can use. Many people don't know about it. Others forget that it's there. Some even take photos of their monitor, which leads to hard to read angles and screen glare. Meanwhile, the snipping tool is already on your computer. It is always ready with a handy shortcut. See how you can use the most out of it. I'm going to show you how you can take a screenshot in Windows 11. It's gotten better, especially when it comes to grabbing what you need from that screenshot. For example, you might just want to grab text from an image, or you might want to get the link of a QR code that you just took a screenshot of. You can also add images, arrows, and shapes. No need to install any other third-party app or pay for anything else. It's free for as long as you have Windows 11. First, let's start with the fastest way to take a screenshot of everything on your screen. And that's to hold down the Windows key and press the Print Screen button. When you do this, three things happen. Number one, you're going to notice that your screen flickers a bit, which gives a sign that something is happening, a screenshot is taken. Number two, that screenshot is going to be saved to your clipboard. So all you have to do is open whatever app you want to paste it in and just press Ctrl plus V. And number three, your screenshot file is going to be saved in your file explorer. In pictures, screenshot folder. That's pretty cool, okay? So that is Windows plus print screen. Now, the next way of taking a screenshot is just to press the print screen button. When you do that and you have the latest updates in Windows 11, you're going to notice the new snipping tool pop up on top of your screen. By default you're going to be in rectangular mode. So you just have to click and hold the left mouse button, drag to capture the area that you want, and release that mouse button when you're done. Now, just like before, that screenshot is going to be saved to your clipboard. And the screenshot file is going to be saved in your file explorer, in the screenshots folder. If you don't want that snipping tool to pop up when you click on print screen, you can turn this behavior off. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you how you can turn this off. If you can't find the print screen button on your keyboard, there is another shortcut Windows plus Shift plus S. This is going to bring up the snipping tool as well. Now, if you're not a fan of shortcuts, click on the Windows Start button, type in, snip, and enter. This is going to take you to the snipping tool app. To capture the screen, click on New. You can, of course, pin this app directly to your Start section. Just right mouse click and pin to start. So now that we covered different ways of taking a screenshot, let's talk about the part where you have more control over what you want to have in that screenshot. So, I'm going to use press Windows button plus Shift plus S to activate the snipping tool. The first option that's underlined is our screenshot option, so I'm just going to leave it as is. If you click on this drop down, you can select rectangular. This allows you to grab a part of your screen as a rectangle. Just like we saw before. Window lets you grab a dialog box. Now, this is especially great if you're creating training documentation. So, let's say I wanted to grab this dialog box only. I don't have to draw a rectangle around it. I just need to click on this window, and that's it. The screenshot is saved. Full screen grabs everything you see on the screen. Similar to what we did with Windows Plus Print Screen. With Freeform, you pick what you want. Now, remember, all of your screenshots are saved. So if you're watching an online training, you can quickly just take all the screenshots you need and then organize them later. Sometimes you might want to take a screenshot of something that keeps disappearing every time you want to take your screenshot. To catch it, you can use the delay timer in the Snipping Tool app. First, open the app by going to Start, Snipping Tool, or just search for it. Under Delay Snip, you'll have options to delay. Pick how long you might need to get prepared, and then select New or just Control plus N. 
Get in position and wait. Once you see the gray overlay, grab the part that you want using your mouse. This puts it in the snipping tool app, so you can add annotations if you want. If not, just go to where you want it and paste it in. Just press Ctrl V. So now let's move on to annotating your screenshot. Let's say you're browsing the web. You come across this image and you want to share it with your team. Open Snipping Tool and click on New Tab or Windows plus Shift plus S. Left mouse click, drag, let go. The snipping tool pops up on the side. And because you want to add something to this picture, you click on it. And then you're taken directly to the app. First, let's say there are parts of the image that you don't need. You can crop it. Select Image Crop, then adjust the crop by left clicking and dragging the sides. Select the check mark here on top when you're done. To add annotations, you can use the pen to do some freeform writing. You can change the color and the stroke size, and then just start drawing or writing. If you don't like what you did there, you can use the eraser. Just click on your annotations, and they're going to be erased. You use the highlighter to emphasize important points. You can also change the color and the stroke size of the highlighter. Now, in the newest update of the snipping tool, you have the ability to add shapes. For example, you can easily add an arrow. You can adjust the size, the opacity, and the color from the outline options. You can also add a straight line. If you want it to be perfectly straight, just hold down the shift key as you draw. You also have the option to add a square or an oval shape, and then adjust the fill color. The transparency, and the outline as you need. Another cool feature is the ability to add images to your screenshot. Now here's the thing, whatever annotations you do, everything will be automatically copied to your clipboard. So right now, I can just open up any document, let's say Word, and press CT or L plus V. Everything together with the annotations is going to be pasted. But if for some reason you lose whatever was copied to your clipboard, you can select the copy icon up here. If you want to save this version together with the annotations, select Save. If you're unhappy with all the annotations and stuff you added, click on the eraser and select Erase All Markup. Now, if you've used the snipping tool before, you might be wondering, what happened to that ruler? It's still there. Just use CT or L, plus or to activate it. Use CT or L, plus or again to deactivate it. You can also get to it by going to more options greater than show ruler. Use your mouse to drag and place it where you want, and then use the mouse wheel to rotate it. Then you can use the pen tool to draw a line, but you might not need the ruler as much anymore because you have these new shape options. Now let's say you wanted to grab the text from this image. Click on Text Actions, and then select the text that you want to copy or copy all text, then just paste it in wherever you like in an email, for example. Another cool thing is that the snipping tool can open links of QR codes that you've taken a screenshot of. So let's say you don't have your phone with you, someone shares this QR code, you can snip it, and then in the snipping tool app, click text actions. You're going to see the link, click that link. Another cool option under Text Actions is Quick Redact, so if your screenshot includes sensitive information, this quickly redacts email addresses and phone numbers. If you want to show them again, click on this drop down and remove all redactions. If you wanted to show phone numbers but hide all email addresses, click on this drop down and take away the check mark from phone number, then click on Redact. This is going to hide all email addresses but keep the phone number's visible. To get out of text actions, select the icon again to deactivate it. Looking for more editing options, you can edit in Paint. This will open your image in the Paint app. Here you get more advanced options, like remove the background, add layers, and so on. So we covered taking a screenshot and annotating it. Sometimes your screenshot might need some movement. That's when you can use the snipping tool to record a video. A screenshot is not going to help me out much, 
a video would be perfect to activate snipping in video mode. Use the shortcut key Windows plus Shift plus R. You can see recording mode is activated. Select the area that you want to record, use a mic if you need to, and then hit start. Do the actions you've got to do. Once done, stop the recording. You can view the recording directly in the snipping tool. It's also automatically saved in your videos. Screen recordings folder. If you need to edit it, select edit in Clipchomp. You might need to add this app from the Microsoft Store if you don't have it yet. Not want print screen to open up the snipping tool, or you might not want to save everything. Automatically to your screenshot folder. To make adjustments to these, bring up the snipping tool. App, select more options, go to settings. So mine is on for automatically adjusting changes. So any annotations I add to the screenshot are automatically saved to the clipboard. Next is the option to automatically save screenshots. Now, if you don't want these saved in your screenshots folder, toggle this off. I just like to keep mine on. Automatically save screen recording is also on for me. There are other options that you might find useful that you can turn on. For example, ask to save edited screenshots or record the microphone by default. If you don't want the print screen key to open the snipping tool, select change in Windows settings and then turn off. Use the print screen key to turn on screen capture. So, as you've noticed, the snipping tool adds multiple steps, but it also gives you a lot more flexibility. Now, if you've used the snipping tool before, you've probably noticed it's gotten a lot of new improvements. Some of these improvements are improvements that you might not see yet in your version because they're currently being rolled out. If you've never used the snipping tool before, it's a free tool that comes with your Windows, so why not give it a try? Okay, so that's it. That's our video. I hope you found it useful. Thank you for sticking around all the way to the end.